kind of like uh, you mentioned about the behaviors for example uh, uh, will a young person talk to an elderly or uh, uh, in terms of experience also an inexperienced person and an experienced person are they collaborating or are they talking to each other so you would uh, uh, i believe uh, what you mentioned the qualitative inputs towards the end of that answer that is where this kind of uh, input is taken as in how are people interacting with other communities and at office yeah, in fact, uh, at the end of every workshop that we have, we have questions around what they liked and what they wish for. Okay. And uh, when we look at it in a very analytical manner, Professor, we found that uh, people are uh, assuming many things. And when they have these conversations, they are opening up and realizing that they can do a lot better. Yeah. When they finish the workshops and they go back, their behavior towards their colleagues change to the extent that they say that, okay, now I might, I need to be more mindful in terms of what I'm asking for, why I'm asking and how I'm asking. Mm -hmm. And just this whole conversation of, you know, listening and asking helps them to become better. Uh, we have many testimonials from our uh, people who have said that becoming aware of a certain diversity, uh, especially generational diversity, helps us to be mindful in terms of what we are taking for granted, what we are assuming, and what we should be asking. One simple example that I can quote for you is that um, our we have a program called Early Talent, which basically attracts campus hires and people with less than two years ex experience into SAP. And uh, they have a very special focus in terms of their training, their integration, their exposure, and so on. And so there is a lot of expectations from them. And uh, during one of these workshops, one manager said that we expect so much from our early talent but they don't seem to speak up. What, why are they so shy? We are giving them so much of opportunity. And then uh, the person who was in, in the workshop who came from campus said, sir, till, you, sir till, you, jo till we joined SAP, we used to call you sir and madam. The day we are joining SAP, you are asking us to call you by first name. It is a whole lot of things for us to change because we have grown up in a society and a culture to respect others, to, uh, you know, to call people uh, by, you know, by address them with a sir and stand up when they pass by, because that is how we have been taught to uh, respect elders. So by the time we take the courage to call you by first name, you have moved on. Give us the time for us to adapt to this new situation. Just having those conversations helps them to be mindful in terms of what you're expecting from the other generation. And vice versa, right? Like there are a lot of assumptions that you think because this, the, the whole, the way in which we are brought up about older people is so different, right? And so now people are asking like, can we do hackathons together irrespective of what generations you are, right? So there is a lot more collaboration, camaraderie, and inclusion at the work 